I was actually working at another company and I was doing real estate finance there. And the CEO, CFO, actually invited me to uh, apply for an open position in investor relations. He thought that uh, that would be a good fit for me. And when I talked to the treasurer of the company to whom the IR officer reported, he had had this position at one time and he thought it was the best position in the company. And in the 13 or so years that I've been in investor relations, I couldn't agree more. Excellent position to be in. You get such a broad view of the, uh, of the company, and um, along with that, you get a view of how the outside investor community views your company. So I actually have just joined CA in the last, um, I guess it's been about five months now. And part of what I thought was very interesting about this opportunity is this is an organization that has been very internally focused in terms of what's it tried to accomplish. Um, it was an organization that had gone through um, some pretty significant um, uh, events and had to spend a great deal of time um, focused on, on, on fixing things internally here. But it's gotten to a stage in its evolution where it's time now to really start focusing on our external communications. Um, and that, to me, from an investor relations standpoint, is actually very exciting. Uh, and we're going through um, a strategic process here. We're going through a rebranding exercise. And we're really looking at the company and what we want it to be and how we want it to be communicated. And IR plays an absolutely essential role in that. Um, and to be able to participate in shaping that and have an impact on creating, on creating that messaging is, is actually very exciting from an investor relations standpoint. So I report to the chief financial officer who reports to this chief executive officer. I really view myself as dotted line reporting up to the CEO. Um, that's really how the role has been most effective and the kind of level of um, interaction I felt like we've, we've had. Um, I have a department of one investor relations professional who um, is uh, more junior, and we have a dedicated um, uh, executive assistant who um, we've made a real effort to teach the practice of investor relations, so she has an understanding of how um, the company works beyond just the executive assistant role and how investor relation works beyond the executive assistant role. Uh, we could always use more staffing. Um, uh, there's an endless number of things I think we could be doing to enhance you know, our practice of investor relations. Um, our reporting is on a, on a quarterly basis that's formal to the board. We submit a report, um, a, a, a summarized report to the board of directors of our um, institutional ownership, a summary of that, of the change, um, a summary of feedback from investors on events that we have, um, that we have, um, executed on, um, an overview of our engagement with the street in terms of which events we've taken part in and what we've hosted, and then feedback on our earnings. So it gives them in about three or four pages a fairly summarized high level view of where IR stands. Um, we also just in the last couple of months completed um, a strategic plan for investor relations where we wrote a white paper, um, which we submitted to the board. It was approximately 16 pages long, which gave them um, a great deal of information about where we find ourselves strategically in the market, um, how the stock in the company is perceived by the financial markets, and a roadmap for many of the things that we wanted to execute on in the, in, uh, over the ensuing six to nine month period. And then um, some um, metrics by which we were hoping we could be evaluated. A uh, small team, there are two of us. I report directly to the chief financial officer. Um, we have a, a very active program. We, over the course of a year, this year we'll meet with uh, more than 200 different uh, firms, both uh, equity and uh, fixed income, and that includes, um, well, this is the buy side. We will also meet with uh, 
a host of uh, sell-side firms. The shareholder and the willingness, the capability of the shareholder to be more vocal these days. There are a lot more avenues through which the shareholder can express him or herself, uh, either through a, a proxy, um, uh, a proxy battle, a proxy uh, solicitation, or through um, uh, direct contact with, uh, with senior management uh, through the internet. Um, they are a lot more, there are a lot more issues that they are focused on within, that, that fall under the uh, rubric of uh, corporate governance, sustainability. They're concerned about uh, climate change. They're concerned about the corporation's relationship with the broader global community. They're concerned about uh, executive compensation. They're concerned about how corporations treat their employees. So there are a host of issues that have come to the forefront of the investor uh, dialogue with the companies that they own. And that has raised the uh, strategic importance of uh, investor relations quite, quite a bit. So um, there are a couple of ways that that has changed. The first is, um, I believe as institutions became came under pressure and that their returns weren't what the you know either the, their investors were looking for, that they actually turned to looking at corporate governance, um, and you can see that in the in you know in the politics in, domestically in the United States and evolutions of things like say on pay and the desire to split um, CEOs from uh, chairman of the board roles and all of these evolutions in governance. So I I think that um, the role and importance of of a company in terms of being very clear about the governance strategy and communicating that has been an important aspect and has elevated the role of IR. I also think that what's happening is that because um, organizations' stock prices are depressed relative to what internal both board members and executives feel are the actual value of the company, the board in particular is taking an increased role in trying to understand investor relations and how to use investor relations as a vehicle to um, to increase the value of the organization. And so um, they are becoming more involved in investor relations from a board perspective, more interested in transparency about what we're doing in investor relations and how strategically we plan to execute against that. I have um, a regular dialogue with the board. Um, I present to them. I attend audit committee meetings. Um, and they're very interested in um, executing. And they're also very interested in offering their perspective as being former, you know, very successful leaders in business and, you know, helping us enhance that.